Hello friends, welcome to Planning P6. Hope you are doing well. Today we are here with the topic of how we can import WBS from Excel. So I am not using this method, but I have received too many requests to upload a tutorial on this topic. So that's why I decided to upload it. So I have segregated here the data by Excel. This is project for the data center project. I have taken the WS from there and one sheet I have prepared for that. It is complete and one we will do how we will add over there. So the secondly, I have prepared the here the Primavera P6 schedule. So this one import add WS from Excel to Primavera P6, Excel Primavera P6 integration. So let's move forward and understand how we can sort the data in Excel while we have the uh, WBS name how we can add by the level wise and how we can uh, manage the data to add in Primavera P6. We will add through notepad and you know while we are opening an XR file in the notepad so that file will be convert into the text file. So if you see here now I have the sheet here first of all WBS ID. WBS ID we will start from one like this one first row we will leave for the project id 1 and then 2 and then 3 the sequence wise we will add here like this 5 so this way you can add you can have option to auto fill but i am not auto filling to keep my formatting over there secondly wbs short code or name so for the wbs short code or name i have just decided to add you can add any letter any code a b c or uh, just you can use the numbers 1, 2, 3, whatever you want to use, you can use it. As I have managed here for the project initiation for level 1, I have added the PI and then add 101, 102, 103 like that and then just avoid here the special characters like comma, dot, slash or whatever. You are no need, not need to any add the special characters. For example, here is 10.1. I did not add the 10.1 instead of 10.1 I just add the 101, 102, 102.1 .1, that's why it will be like this. I will just copy from here. So how we can decide the short name you can write the any of name whatever you want but just understand that every row has its own different WBS short name. So parent WBS here in the parent WBS, for example, I want this under this WBS, so the parent WBS will be this one according to the WBS ID. We will add here the WBS ID. You have option to use the formulas as well and you have option to do it by manually. You can do the VLOOKUP formula over there or if you are WBS, you are managing or writing one by one, then it's easy to ignore the mistakes or errors. Just write it manually. So here this one will be one and here it will 2 and this is also under the 2 and then this one will be under the 4, 4 and 4 like now this one is under 2 like this way I have created so third is the last one is the name of the uh, your WBS here as you see here I have segregated all the data if I sort out by the colors for the level 1 the color is yellow if you see here these all under level 1 WBS or level 2 WBS under the project. In next video I will explain the levels of the WBS, how we can de decide the levels and what it represent in Primavera P6 and how it covers. Level 2 is this one and then level 3 is this one and now this level 4 or 5 whatever you are saying this is level 5 WBS. So I have segregated the data like this. Clear the filters. Okay. Now what we will do, we will go to the Primavera, if you see here, I have created the project and activities, under the activities just project there is no, you can add a new project and just export it. And then WBS, there is no WBS over there. So here you can see also there is no WBS. What I will do, I will just go to the activities and export the project, Primavera XR file, export it, project, ok next and then go to the desktop. As I am saving desktop, you can give it the location wherever you want to save it. So here, ok, finish, close. Minimize your schedule. I will minimize this one also. 
now you can see this project is there i will open this project you can edit with notepad or open with notepad okay open this project in notepad this now these are the our text file so i will at the end you can see here there is our wbs project wbs so i will just copy from here copy and open excel new file or you can have option to add here a new sheet i will just add a new file so here i will just do it control v so for the wbs id uh, we have as we have the wbs ids over there you can see here what i will do control shift and select all wbs id copy and paste special the values over there now it has been pasted over there project id will be remain same wbs id will be remain same sequence number will be remain same for the estimation weight we have the two other tutorials uploaded one is with the primavera p6 est weight and one is for the weightages so you if you want to manage your weightages here while using this sheet you can manage for example for the level 1 you can give the one and then under that two wbss maybe you can 0.5 and 0.5 by the way you can when you have a look on the other tutorials you can see i want to keep the same here the project node no i want to know here for the flag i also want to do no okay control d and then together i will just fill down option okay fill down and then wbs open status code open you can see ws status code open so short name as i told you this short name will remain same as the primavera or you can write any of your name here short code or name you will write here as we have written over there just copy this short code from here and then paste special the values over there if you see here why i pasted under that because we did not copy the above row so here this will remain same and now the wbs name full name we will write here the wbs full name this one and copy from here when you have the data if one two or one how much the wbs as i have 165 wbs so here you can see i have pasted this one now phase id will be remain empty and here now what we will do i will just do here uh, the i will paste over there up to the here okay so just go there and then just copy from here parent wbs copy here and then paste special the values over there if you see here now it's come filled now what i will do i will just select here empty i will cut from here control x or cut from here and put it up to the end control n and then just fill down this r percent r okay so select all control a select all copy from here and then go to the here and paste over there after the pasting you have option to save file here file save here and then r control s save the file close it so minimize that minimize that i will just go to the primavera and add over there file we will import the file here xr file okay next next select the file where it is located on the desktop open next and then update the existing project okay you have option to create a new project or whatever you want to select here then you can create it so i want to okay that will be applied, updated and replaced okay okay next modify here you can see here if you see here the data type project in modify import configuration wizard wbs update existing okay next and finish now you can see here our wbs has been added just in a one click over there for example if you see here all the wbs and their levels are here as we have added there if you see here all the wbss are here now you can add the activities over there or whatever you want you can run your schedule so if i see here in the wbs you can now see here the wbs uh, option as well here and you have option to group and sort whatever you want to do you can do it now easily and now here in the wbs if i want to see here by the chart view you can see here as a chart view layout i will just vertical and horizontal these are horizontal this is now vertical and uh, center okay 
and arrange it that horizontal. Now you can see here if I zoom in, this is now our WBSs are there. Every WBS are located over there. If you see here now these are our WBS. I will go to the uh, WBS in the table view. Second option is that if you have the issue, for example, we will you want to add any WBS. The projects are similar and you want to copy from another project just I will make a copy of this project or add a new project from here I just add a new project here ok finish here is our new project I will just say here uh, copy and paste there control V and write the name A ok and now here I will just same name I will just do it here the same name ok remove this one just for understanding that this is a project so what I will do, I will select the both projects and open it combinedly. So these two projects will be open here and also in the WBSs, also these will open there. So if I collapse to, collapse to up to the level, which one, uh, level 3, okay, I want to level 3, level 4, level 5, whatever you want, even level 1, you can, you have option. To collapse them if some of the WBS you just copy and paste over there is also okay if you want to copy and paste all WBS for example I will just copy from here and click here and paste the WBS over there it will be added okay WBS and milestone okay with the activities each and everything will be added over there under that project so if you want to copy from other project open both project together and then add project or over there if you want sub WBS some this WBS you just want to copy and add over there okay add here now you can see it is here now you can manage the levels as well and everything over there so you can manage by this way okay go ahead ahead and then it will come over there if you want to copy and paste all WBSs you can do it it will copy and paste with the activities each and everything hopefully uh, you understand this concept how we can just ignore avoid to put here any of the comma dot or uh, any of the slash or special characters over there if you want this sheet uh, just email us or contact us through whatsapp we will provide you this wbs sheet for the practice purpose hopefully this tutorial is helpful for you people thanks for watching please like share and comment on our tutorials allah Hafiz.